Hey folks, thanks for joining me once again. Well today, we're going to be revisiting a beer that I first reviewed back in 2012. Red Stripe, Jamaican Lager, which comes in at 4.7% alcohol by volume, and it's brewed and bottled by Desnos and Gettys in Kingston, Jamaica. Now, uh, when I first reviewed uh, Red Stripe back in 2012, I had the misfortune of getting a bottle that was actually brewed under license in the United Kingdom. And uh, sadly, it uh, didn't uh, remind me very much of the uh, Red Stripe uh, brewed in Jamaica that um, I enjoyed a lot, uh, yeah, about a decade or more ago. But uh, a lot of time has uh, passed since then and my, uh, you know, tastes have, uh, you know, changed a lot, I would like to think. Um, so uh, we'll have to see what uh, this um, <laughs> version of Red Stripe is uh, like in uh, 2016. Now it's only just started uh, to be brewed in Jamaica again actually and that's only come about since uh, Heineken acquired the brand from uh, Diageo last year. Now uh, I only know this thanks to um, World Beer News uh, that uh, Tasting Niche uh, hosts on her uh, YouTube channel. So um, I'll provide a link below to her channel but uh, folks I really encourage you to uh, watch her program. It's uh, yeah, very uh, entertaining and informative. Anyway, um, I think it's high time that I cracked this bottle open and uh, gave it a review. All right, so I'll pour it out into this uh, glass that was probably uh, nicely chilled. Um, <laughs> yeah, a little bit uh, earlier today, but um, yeah, it's at uh, room temperature now. But I have had this uh, bottle uh, in the freezer, so uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be at the uh, right uh, drinking temperature which is um, according to the website uh, suggested to be between two and four uh, degrees Celsius all right so um, yeah nice pour there let's uh, have a look at the appearance it's um, yeah what uh, one would describe as a clear golden yellow color quite effervescent uh, as you can see there's a lot of bubbles uh, streaming to the top there um, we've got just about uh, bang on uh, one finger of uh, frothy white head I think there's a little bit more when I poured it but uh, yeah it's uh, dissipated quite quickly which uh, really comes as no surprise anyway so on to the aroma all right all I'm really getting is, um, yeah, faint smell of um, barley malt. Yeah. There's uh, no real presence of uh, hops there. Yeah. All right. So um, we've talked about the appearance and the aroma, which could only mean it's time for the most important part of the review, the taste test. So a big cheers to you, the audience and an even bigger cheers to Tasting Niche. Let's dive in. Mm. All right, well, the taste is really following the nose. It's uh, certainly very malt forward. I'm definitely getting those, uh, you know, bready malts, um, yeah, lingering in the palate. It's uh, yeah, drying out quite quickly as well but uh yeah there was a nice hot bite to it and um yeah it's very crisp clean and uh, refreshing let me have another gulp mm. all right well i must say that for um, a beer that's only 4.7 percent abv it's definitely got um a very bold flavor uh, to it um, yeah it's not in the least bit watery um, yeah I'm getting a very uh, strong yeah beer flavor there that's um, you know really enjoyable that uh, you know no apologies manly beer flavor that uh, I often talk about um, yeah that I, uh, I really enjoy and uh, I would enjoy even more if it were a, a hot summer's day I guess in terms of its drinkability it's very drinkable it's certainly one you could session uh, I hope it uh, 
you know, stays around here in Australia. Um, I guess it was a good sign when I found it at uh, First Choice Liquor, although um, uh, the price point, yeah, was um, quite ludicrous, I thought. $60 for a carton of this, uh, yeah, isn't uh, what I would uh, call reasonable. I think it's a beer that should probably only sell at around about the, the $40 mark here. Well, I'm finding this quite enjoyable, but uh, I think it's time that I had one final gulp and uh, wrapped this up. Mm. Well, all in all, uh, it's a great lager, um, a fine example of its style, in fact. Uh, there's nothing offensive about it flavour-wise. It goes down smooth. You know, it's um, got all those qualities you'd look for in a lager. Like I said, it's crisp, clean, refreshing and dry. And, um, yeah, if you uh, do see it around, um, the uh, real McCoy, of course, the... Um, version of uh, Red Stripe that is uh, brewed and bottled in Jamaica, then uh, definitely give it a go. All right, so um, what would I give it in terms of a score out of 10? Well, uh, I think for uh, 2016, um, it's uh, definitely deserving of a solid 8.5 out of 10. So there you go, folks, an 8.5 out of 10 for Red Stripe Jamaican Lager. All right, well, um, Thanks again for joining me, and uh, hopefully I'll be back real soon with another review for you all. But uh, until then, folks, fare thee well, all.